how to create mosaic effects like this in Affinity Photo, PC or Mac. You can create all kinds of different color effects very easy using brushes or gradients or anything. Now I'm gonna use brushes and the brush that I'm gonna use is one that I created in the previous video. So please check that out. It's about noise painting. And the brush that I'm gonna use, ink spatter tilting. So with that, go over here, select the paintbrush tool and select a gradient. Now, best thing, swatches. So just select a very colorful one and you can vary each time and then apply. And you can see as you do that, you get this splatter all over this. Now I might just zoom out so I can actually see that I'm filling it all. Also a good thing maybe is just to apply a gradient beforehand so you can fill it like that. Good thing about that is you won't have any gaps in it. So let's just apply again, paintbrush tool, and you can see now it's added that. You could of course make maybe a black background, but also select a different one and you can apply it. You can also vary the size. So maybe go for bigger, 2,400, something like that. So you get a lot chunkier colors. And you can see now the brushes use the gradients and that means every single color that's part of the gradient is gonna be used. So that's really useful feature of Affinity Photo where you can use brushes and gradients together. Now, not everyone is affected, but I find that these ones, the splatter one, or spatter ones, I should say, and sprays, they work best with gradients, I think. But still, what you can then do is select a different gradient, and I'm gonna go with another one. There's a nice colorful one there. Now, the gradients you've got will be different. So you will probably find you've got a different set. Maybe you've got rainbow ones, whole range of them. Please check out my videos on how to create those sort of gradient designs that way. Well, I'm gonna go with this. Well, what I now do, I'm gonna go up to here to filters. Let's select the move tool first. So you can see the layers selected. Filters, colors, and Voronoi. And in Voronoi, you can vary the cell size. Now you can go for fairly big, or fairly small. Now I'm going to go for about that, and also I'm going to increase the line width. I want it to be fairly chunky, so like that. You can see it's filled with black, and click apply. Because what I now want to do is select this. So let's just zoom in a bit again. So now with that, I can then go over here, and I'm going to use a selection. So just quickly use this one, flood select tool. So click there, and just click. And you can see, as long as you click the black, if you click any of the colors, you won't get that. You've got tolerance zero up here, current layer. Then cut it. So edit and cut, and then you get that. So you've got the tiles without any background now in the grouting. So select and deselect, and then you can apply effects to it. So just go over here to layers, got the layer there selected, the key thing, and go to pixels and FX down there. So effects. With that, you can go for bevel and boss, maybe go for that, or maybe 3D, that's a nice one as well. So radius, and of course you can vary the profile you want. You can create a variety of different ones, so click there, and you can see as you do that, you'll get different mosaics very quickly, maybe a more chunky one like that. But also you can remove and just go back to that rounded one, and you can vary the soften maybe as well, if you want. But I'll go with that, 7.3. Don't have to push it too far, you can also change direction, etc., and close. Well, once you've got that, there is your mosaic effect. But you, of course, can extend this a bit further. But I would like to go over here and I want to rasterize it. So I'm just going to rasterize it. So right click, rasterize. With that, I can then make certain that layer effect is part of the entire layer, not just added on. So it's now preserved layer effects, click rasterize, and you can see the effects disappears, but you've still got the effect. But it's all part of a single pixel layer now. And what you can then do, hold down the ultra option key and drag, and drag it like that. And you can create very quickly multiple layers like that. Maybe fill it all in to create something like that, a bit of a jumble effect. Or maybe go back to the that one. Another option, you can always go to filters, go to colors, and Voronoi again, select that. And you can see you get this effect where it sort of flattens it, but you can change the cell size. So you don't have to go with the same. So just change it, maybe create ones where you can see very small ones within those actual cells there. And also line width, you can vary that. So you can see you can create some interesting color effect combinations that way and click apply. Also another option, you've got this single one. You can always hold down the ultra option key, drag like that, but 
This time, go to Layer, and down here to New Adjustment Layer, and you can go down here to HSL, say, and just recolor it. So you don't end up with the same color. So then merge, and that's merged into that layer. And this one is obviously different from that. So if I deselect that, there, you can see now you've got different colors there. And of course, then you can combine them. You can go up here and blend modes, maybe go with darken, or maybe go through and difference and so on to create a variety of different combinations as well. Or maybe with that one selected, go to filters, apply blur. So Gaussian blur or one of the others, maybe not that much, but maybe sort of slight blur in effect. Or maybe put that behind as the background layer. That's another option. But also you can always use this as a source for maybe patterns. So with this layer selected, go to layer and new pattern layer from selection and then resize it. And then once you've done that, you can then, let's just deselect that one. You can see, you can move it like that. Got the move tool there selected, go to mirror. So it's all selected there. And you've got this lovely, very intense tile effect, mosaic effect, which you can modify in many other ways. So with this now, what you can do, you can simply go to layer and rasterize. You can turn it into a pixel layer, so it's no longer a pattern, so you can't resize it, but rasterize, and then you can manipulate this. So maybe go to filters, distort, maybe deform. So with that one, and then you can go here, you've got rigid, you can go with similarity, add some bins, and just distort this design and create all kinds of very weird ones. Now you don't have to push it extreme, you can get effects like that, which really stretches it, or just keep just very subtle, just add pins very close to each other. And just drags so it just distorts a few of them like that and click apply and then you can repeat it as well so filters repeat deform to create interesting combinations you can also go to layer and fade deform so you can combine them so with that you've got fade you can go there fade between them maybe go with different blend modes between those to create different combinations maybe something like that light and overlay and again, just modify this, change that, see which one you like, and click apply. And you can see the result of that. And again, you can still go repeat deform to create even more interesting combinations. I'll just go back to that, maybe apply color effects to it, or maybe go to layer and new adjustment layer, maybe turn it very quickly into a black and white. So black and white, like that, great for a sort of texture design. Simply merge, and then you've got it merged, a pixel layer like that, you can use maybe with an image to add some texture effects. So import an image, use maybe displays or other effects. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Like or dislike, always appreciated. Bye.